Hey everybody, I'm back out here in St. Petersburg today and I've got a couple of areas I want to show you. A couple of areas that the locals don't want you to know about and I know you're all going to comment below the ones that are living here but I'm going to show them to you anyway. So let's get after it. It's a beautiful day. It's finally a little bit cooler out and I'm excited to show you some areas. So let's get after it right now. All right, so we're starting out in the historic Old Northeast area, and you have to bear with me because there's a lot of construction going on. The birds are chirping. The weather is stunning today. I mean, cannot get over how nice it is. And, you know, there's people outside, so I'm going to do my best to show you what I can. The thing I love about the Old Northeast is that, first off, it's close to everything that's cool about St. Pete. It's cool it's cool. It's close to downtown, the pier. It's close to 4th Street, which I've talked about before, where you have all of the shopping and all of the great restaurants and just sort of like the easy living stuff, right? Like the Walgreens and the Publix. And then you've got, you know, Trader Joe's and then you've got the mom and pop places as well. So, you know, for those of you that understand St. Pete and for those of you that don't, St. Pete doesn't necessarily have a bunch of big box stores. So if you're looking for areas that are close to all that, you're going to have to travel a little bit further outside of the east side of St. Pete in order to get that. But what I can tell you is you're going to have cool areas like this. We've got these brick lane streets and these beautiful homes and none of them look alike. I kind of like that. Everybody in every street, I should say, every street kind of has its own, you know, characteristics and charm. And you're also very close to the water. I'm going to take you over to the coffee pot bayou here in a second. One of my favorite places to go try to see if I can find a manatee or a dolphin. Also, Historic Old Northeast is very close to North Shore Park, the Vinoy Park, the Vinoy itself, the golfing at the Vinoy. And again, like I mentioned, you're not far from downtown and all of the wonderful shops and restaurants that are on Beach Drive. Another thing that I love about uh, Old Northeast is that it's extremely family friendly. You see a lot of young people out here. I just saw a young woman, you know, pushing her child in a stroller. There's a lot of activity. I'm in the, it's in the middle of the day and it is densely populated. So if you're someone that is moving from a big city, let's say, you're going to feel a little bit more comfortable moving to Florida or Tampa Metro, Tampa St. Pete Metro. People get upset when I lump St. Pete with Tampa. There's a reason for that. I'll tell you about in a minute. But if you're looking for something that's kind of cool and eclectic, this is why I bring people over to Old Northeast and a couple of the other areas that I'm going to show you. Let's talk about the housing prices over here. So hmm, a couple of years ago when I did my St. Pete video about this area, the prices were at a very different stage, more in the 300, 400, maybe 500 range. But now when I looked up the prices of the houses in this area, you're looking more at 800 into the multi-millions to be in the old northeast and of course there's reason for that look at these beautiful homes right they're big homes they're over 2,000 square feet they're close to water they're close to everything so this is primo neighborhood primo neighborhood i wanted to show you this one too which i absolutely love it doesn't feel like it should be in florida does it and as you go a little bit deeper in some of the other neighborhoods we're going to talk about, you're going to see a little bit more of that craftsman style bungalow. But over here in the old Northeast, a lot of these houses started to get, you know, uh, renovated as the boom happened over here, you know, after COVID and Tom Brady and we, you know, Tampa and St. Pete became part of, you know, our culture and kind of put on the map as a place to move to because of, you know, no state income tax and it was a low cost of living at that time. And now people have come and renovated, brought their big city money and renovated a lot of these houses. So if that's you, let's go take a look at Old Northeast. All right, let's keep it moving. So let's look at where the historic Old Northeast is on the map in proximity to downtown St. Petersburg, right? So as you can see, it's to the Northeast of downtown St. Pete. It is bordering 4th Street that I've talked about. And you can see all these little shops and restaurants that are popping up. Um, that's because 4th Street, like I mentioned, is where all the stuff you're going to want on a daily basis is going to be. 
but also it is just south of the Vinoy Golf Club. Not to mention you've got just to the south a little bit, you've got this Vinoy Park, you've got this long stretch right here, which is Flora Wiley Park. And within Flora Wiley Park is the North Shore Beach Park, right? And there's obviously volleyball there as well. And it's kind of like this little hidden gem the neighborhood people know about. And also you can walk along the Vinoy Park all the way down and around. So you can take the kids on a bike ride, the kids in the stroller, jogging, all through the Vinoy Park, which is really cool. And you've got this wonderful bay view as well. And like I've mentioned, look how close you are in proximity to the downtown area. So if you're looking for a little bit more of city life with a little bit more opportunity for nature and water views and amazing sunsets. You can see now why historic Old Northeast is so popular. So now I've made my way over here to Crescent Lake or Crescent Heights. I really love it over here. As you know, I live a lot of places, but I was just sitting here <laughs> talking to the squirrels and there's kids playing soccer over here and there's, you know, Lots of great little families sitting, having picnics or pushing the baby stroller and, you know, these beautiful homes that overlook the lake. It's a quaint little area. Now it's, these houses are kind of tightly together. Um, and this street right here is pretty, you know, loud, but if you kind of go deeper into this little area and I'm going to make sure we talk about a map and I, and I show you a little bit more about where Crescent Lake is in the area that I'm talking about. Let me give you this view of the lake, of course, trying my best here. I think Crescent Lake is really great, again, for families, young professionals. You're gonna have, um, again, the different houses. It's not much different than the historic Old Northeast, except for the houses are a little smaller and they're a little less expensive because they're not as close to the water. So you're now heading a little bit more east just on the other side of 4th Street and you're getting closer to a little bit more of a, you know, average home price that we can see here in St. Petersburg. What I found just available and as a lot of you that are even looking in the St. Pete market understand that there's low inventory right now. So most of the houses are going to start anywhere in that 500, 550, and they're going to go all the way up into the millions. As I was driving in, you have these older homes that have been here forever. And then you've got right next door to it, somebody who took that land, <laughs> leveled the old house and put a modern home on top of it. A lot of people are doing that because if you're somebody that's in the market for a multi-million dollar home, why not spend 400, $500 buy that house? You're getting the land and then level it and put your dream house on it. Another really great thing about being in Crescent Lake or Crescent Heights area is you're really close to 275, so if you need to commute, like I mentioned, you're close to 4th Street that has all of the things you might need on a daily basis. You're also, oh, oh that's a bird. <laughs> it's like, what's going, is it a wood, woodpecker? What are y'all doing in there? Nature you're very close to downtown again. So again, being that Old Northeast is more east, obviously, and then just west of that is Crescent Lakes or Crescent Heights. And then you're still in a quick Uber ride down to downtown or bike ride even. I know I have friends that live over here and they take their golf cart. And they and my friend lives just a little bit north of here and she takes her golf cart with her family downtown if they wanna go hang out at the pier. So again, close proximity to everything that's really fun close to the water, all of that 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 provides. Awesome lake right here, walking trails, all of that for your family to do and keep you entertained, especially if you work from home and you need to get out of the house. You got that here. It's a little noisy today, but other than that, I think it's a really great spot. What are your thoughts on Crescent Lake? Do you live in Crescent Lake or near it? What can you add here? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I want to know what you think about this place. I'm looking at these beautiful trees right here and these kids playing and I could just sit here all day, but we got to keep moving. So let's go to the next one. So let's take a look at where Crescent Lake is on the map. So as you can see on the map, Crescent Heights, that little box there is the Crescent Heights neighborhood and Crescent Lake is its own neighborhood, which is right below it. So you have that advantage of having those two neighborhoods, obviously right there. And Crescent Lake is so popular because again, this lake is walkable. There is 
like I mentioned on the video, you've got the soccer and the playground and all those things. And you're still again, Old Northeast right over here. And you're, uh, it abuts um, 4th Street, which is, has all those shopping elements that we love. And again, you are close to downtown. So for me, I like the Crescent Heights, Crescent Lake area because you can also still find some property that is not as expensive as Old Northeast and you're still having the same benefits that you would have being right next to Historical Northeast, which is right next to Flora Wiley Park and all of those water features and nature preserves that we love. All right, so we're over here in Kenwood, another area that I really love because they've got these cute little homes, lots of those bungalow style homes, um, and a lot of them have been renovated. Um, again, going back to when we had our little boom and people are coming and snatching all the properties up and they were taking these cute, some of the historical homes as well and renovating them and keeping the history with them or making them their own and putting their own spin on them. Now, this area is more affordable when it comes to the St. Pete area because you're more inland. The further away you get from the water, a little bit more affordability, right? You're also going to see houses with a lot of color. You're also going to see many different flags flying and these cute little share book. I've seen a couple of more of these re recently, which is really great. It means that the area is really thriving with, you know, young people and families and that sort of thing. But let's go back to some social issues. So St. Pete in general and Kenwood is kind of in my mind, comment below if you disagree, because I know you will. <laughs> kind of historically known to be a little bit more out there in their social issues, a little bit more liberal. And again, as you drive around, you see the rainbow flags, you see all sorts of flags, whatever everybody's into, they're gonna, they're gonna fly their flag, okay? So you have to understand that there are definitely parts of St. Pete that are way more liberal than others. I would say St. Pete in general is more liberal than Tampa. That's my opinion. Again, comment below. But it's a really quaint little area over here. It's a lot more quiet than the east side of town, I believe, because you're again, densely populated over there, close to the water, close to everything. And so it's really, really busy. So these houses over here, these little bungalows, as you can see, some have been renovated. We're gonna keep walking. I'm gonna show you some, some have not been, it's fine. This, the lowest price house I've found in this area was 375,000, but it went all the way up until the millions. So this area is again growing and thriving and people are figuring it out, right? Because you're again, in, when you're in Kidwood, you are just north of Grand Central, which has a ton of wonderful shopping and restaurants. You can walk to the Tropicana Field, you know, and also you're close to that downtown uh, area where we've got the pier. So it's still a really great location to be in close proximity to all of the cool stuff, the museums, the great shopping and amazing restaurants, as well as the Vinoy Park and North Shore Beach. So you're still close to all that. And in here, you're a really, really short Uber ride to downtown, downtown, if I can say that right. All right, so let's take a look at the map and find out where North Kenwood and Historic Kenwood are in proximity, again, to the other two neighborhoods that we were talking about. So I'm gonna scroll out a little bit. And as mentioned, this is Historic Old Northeast. This is Crescent Lake, and just above it is Crescent Heights, basically the same neighborhood. So if you just keep heading west, you're gonna hit North Kenwood. And if you go a little south, you're gonna hit Historic Kenwood, right? So this area right in here is again, a, a great op opportunity for getting a more affordability in a home. You're gonna have those smaller homes. So again, if you're looking to maybe do a rental or an income property, that's a great place. But look how much closer you are to some of the big box stores than the other part of town, right? So this is again, where you're gonna come get your shopping on when you're looking at Lowe's, Home Depot, bigger stores like a bigger Publix, Aldi even. So you've got 4th Street over here that's got a lot of shopping, but then you've also got a lot of shopping over here on 19. And again, what I like about Kenwood is that you're very close to Tropicana Field right here. And this area is called the Grand Central District. And you can see that historic Kenwood is really close to the Grand Central District, which is becoming super popular, especially with all the breweries popping up and restaurants all along First Street here. There's a ton of great little mom and pop shops, little boutiques, even I think some, you know, 
food trailers and high rises. It's just a mixed bag happening down there, but it's really fun to scooter or bike ride and you can go all the way down again to the pier, which is right here. So everything's in close proximity to all of the popular attractions that St. Pete is kind of getting known for right now, right? Like you've got the pier and you've got the downtown area and then you've got this Grand Central area because a lot of people when they're going to Tropicana Field, they want a place to go to have a beer afterwards or get something to eat and you're so close to it all. So again, we're in Old Northeast right here and then we looked at Crescent Lake and Crescent Heights right here and then we moved west and we went to North Kenwood and then we went to historic Kenwood. I do believe that these three neighborhoods are some of the hottest and most sought after neighborhoods that the locals do not want you to know about. And so here's my question for you. You know, this is interactive. I make these videos for you guys, people that are looking to relocate, people that are looking for alternative areas in between St. Pete and Tampa. And I wanna know which area do you like best, the Old Northeast, or do you like the Crescent Lake, Crescent Heights area, or do you like Kenwood? What do you think? Comment below. Woo, the wind's picking up and I think a storm is coming, so I'm going to get out of here. But again, guys, you know the drill. If you, I really appreciate it. If you'd hit that thumbs up for me, it really helps grow my channel. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. That helps as well. And if you have any real estate needs at all, don't forget, I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Central Florida and I can help you. All my contact information is below. We'll put it up on the screen as well for you. And until next time, everybody, thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.